out here scouting. Got a few prospects. By the way, how's Rodney doing? Skyler Kennedy. It's good to hear. Hey, uh, give me one second. I'll call you right back. Terry, how you going, bro? Another day. You getting that put me on the banks? I think that's everything. Look over it real quick. Projection, quarterlies, real estate. Exactly what I need for a takeover. Takeover? Ah, uh, just pick a speech. What are we for? Don't worry about it. Just catch me later. Cool. Cool. So what y'all, what, what you and your mom been talking about when y'all been having these phone calls? Well, we were talking about Uncle Frank Jr. and how he was in a coma. And we were talking about how we, I was at the, a funeral mm -hmm. and I met this guy named Ace Cowboy. So when, when you were having these conversations, what were y'all talking about? He was asking me when it was my birthday and who was my mom. And he also said he knew my family. He said you knew your family? Mm hmm Really? Okay. So he says he's like family. Okay. Well, let me tell you something. Ace Calloway, he is like that. But what I'm trying to figure out is I don't know why he would be asking you questions about my sister, your mom, you know, and, and you know how old you are. That doesn't make sense. But you know what? That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. We're going to take care of it, okay? Okay. We're going to take care of it all. Now, do you think you can find out anything about Chance Banks? Lexi Banks' son? You sure about that? I'm positive about that. I'll see what I can do. All right. Thanks, bro. Terry. Yeah. That's going to cost you. All right. Um, I really wanted to say that I really enjoyed the flowers you sent me, um, and I really appreciate the fact that you let me work with you. Um, it's really done great, great things for my business. I really appreciate that. Um, but I really enjoyed the time that we spent professional and um, personal. I actually really enjoyed it. That's that's one thing I wanted to talk about. I feel like I've been coming off strong. How do you think you came up strong? Like you said, you went, you said personal and professional. I just don't want to step over any boundaries. I can see that. But um, in order to step over boundaries, you kind of, you got to know more about somebody. And I kind of feel like um, there is something that just seems a little distant distant in your eyes something that you're not fully disclosing yes yeah 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 master market yeah I think that's the good direction we need to go you know my son we were talking and he was mentioning soccer, and he thought there would be a good expansion move. And, and, and I, think, I think he's right. I think we need to make that our next step. Okay, yeah, so I need you on that. But I got, I got another issue that we need to discuss. Lexi, yeah. You know, Lexi has disappeared off the face of the planet. And I need to find my daughter. And I, I know you're the, you're the man for the job. Okay, yeah. But one way or another... I, I need to find my daughter. I need to find Lexi. So let's make that happen. 
you're right. I'm holding back a little bit. Um, the reason being, I've been engaged before. Um, we're supposed to get married, the kids. Just, she took more than the relationship. You know, she hurt relationships with my family. She was cheating. I wanted to make myself believe, but I couldn't. Family was telling me. I think you know how that is. You love someone and you just you forget about the people that's been there with you. It's just I'm kind of mending everything again, and I don't want to have that happen. also engaged before and um, I invested a lot I put a lot of time into them I sacrificed more than I should have and at the end of it he still put his career before me so um, it hurt it hurt it hurt really bad um, we were together for a while and I really didn't expect it I expected what I was showing was to show that I was always going to be there like you know you didn't have to put something else before me but to him that was more important so I didn't want to continue to be dragged along I didn't want to keep being put on hold I didn't want to keep putting my dreams to the side I have a business that I want to you know get booming right and everything like that so um, I had to just it was really hard but I really had to dig deep to move on from that um, but I definitely understand how, you know, you can mess up bridges with certain people because you give so much time and, and love and devotion to someone. And then at the end of it, they just crap on you. And then now you're looking to mend your old broken relationship. So, how you doing, Grandson? I'm doing good. Good, good. Uh, how's school going? Real good. Real good. So how about your grades? Yeah, they were okay. 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 Yeah. You know, I've seen your grades, you know, okay. It's not acceptable, you know. Your future's bright, but we gotta start strong with the foundation, so I need you to get your grades up. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Okay. Got a question for you. Sir. Sure. Have you been talking to your mother? Yeah, I've been talking to her lately. Really? What you all been talking about? Well, we were talking about how Uncle Frank Jr. was in a coma at the hospital okay. and how Uncle Adams were, was taking care of me. Okay. How I met this guy at the funeral named Ace Calloway. Wait, you you met Ace Calloway at the funeral? Yes, sir. What was Ace? What did he want with you? Well, he was asking me a lot of questions like, "What was my birthday?" and "Who was my mom?" and he also said he was a friend of of the family. <laughs> so at my daughter's funeral, Ace was inquiring about your birthday. Who your mom is? Yes, sir. <laughs> Am I in trouble or something? No, you you're not in trouble. You're not in trouble. You know, it's just this Ace Callaway is just he's he's always seems to show up, but uh, the next time you talk to your mother, I want you to contact me, okay? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my my number so that when she calls you. I just need you to text me where she's calling you from. Can you do that for me? Well, the reason she was calling me because she was supposed to be picking me up, but she never came to pick me up. Well, I'm gonna tell you, you know, your mom's busy. She's she's working on a lot of different things right now, so you know, we're gonna forgive her for that. But the main thing I need you to do is when she calls you, let let let, let your grandpa know. Can you do that for me? Yes, sir. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Hey, you know, right? son. Yeah, everything's good. <laughs> son, I got something I want to discuss with you about your guy, Ace Calloway. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he approached Chance at a man's funeral, man, and asked him questions like, when were you born? What's your birthday? Uh, who is your mother? And I mean, to, to, to try to lure him in, he actually told him he was a friend of the family. 
Dad, Dad, now, let me stop you because because you know I know you don't like Ace. I know you don't like him, but Ace wouldn't do nothing like that. Ace wouldn't do anything like that. I mean, you, you like to defend him, yeah. and, and I know you know it's my boy. Yeah, I know, but I also know he has four hundred million dollars, and it seems like that's the reason why you're trying to protect him. Well, I mean, you know, I, like I told you before, it's strictly business. That was all that it was. All that it is, you know. I'll look into it with the A situation. I don't know why your approach changed, like you said, but you know, I'm gonna I'm go ahead and figure out a way to take care of it. You know, but on the other hand, but on the other hand, while we, you know, talk about business, you know, did you get a chance to look at my proposal for international business? Yeah, the soccer. Yeah, soccer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I looked into it, and, mm -hmm. and like, as I told you, okay. I trust you. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna be watching. Okay. But but I, I do feel you're gonna succeed. But. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you about your sister, Lexi. I've been looking at this situation on all ends, and you know we've already pretty much pulled up everything up on the mother, you know, cell phones, right. credit cards, everything gone. But it's one last thing that I've been oh, looking hold at. On, hold on, you said one last thing. I'm going to go ahead and put my phone out so I can go ahead and take care of it right now. So she's saying one last thing. So she might have forgot something. So what, what is it? What is it? My will. Your will? Yeah, I think I'm going to pull up on my will. Your will that you have all of it, me, Frank Jr., all of it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Bob. Now, I know she done done some messed up stuff in the past. I know she done left Chance. You know, she left, uh, left him without even letting us know. You know, I know she done some messed up things, you know, but that's your daughter above all. That's your daughter. No, I mean, I understand. That's my grandson. Right. And he's now questioning me, and I'm defending her. Right. I mean, and that's not fair to me, nor him. So, you know, you want to be exiled from the family, so I, I I feel like I should just oblige her in what she wants. But your will though, you don't think that's kind of drastic? No. Hey, Pop, you ruthless, man. It's, you know, like you said, it's business. And at the end of the day, it's just business. Well, Pop, you know, we you know, we've been going through a lot, you know. Lexi, you know, she's a priority right now. I mean, I know you're trying to cut her out your will and all this, but you know, we still gotta we still gotta get her, you know, around up. We gotta find her. So I'm gonna pull some strings. I'm gonna see what I can do, and um, we're gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get her to come back to Central Park. You know, I'm gonna figure out how I can get her back here. I'm gonna have to, you know, dive into my own little <coughs> money pocket. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it could be done. So, so you think you can get in touch with your sister? I do. I do. Okay. Well, when you get in touch with her, mm -hmm. let me know. You be the first one I let know. So we can get a meeting set up at the park. You know, Frank Jr., you know, he in his coma. Dude, you know, he's unresponsive. He's not going to talk to me. You know, Amanda's gone. Mama gone. You know, Lexi's really all I have right now, you know, as far as my siblings. So, you know, I'm not letting her go. Okay. Well, I mean, I can understand that. So, mm -hmm. let's see what we can do. You know, like I said, you do whatever you have to do. Yes, sir. But just make sure you contact me and let me know what's going on so that we can get this meeting set up once you get in contact with your sister. I got you. Well, I appreciate you being honest. It's not the easiest thing to do. That's why I like you. It's, it's easy to trust you, if I can say that. Um, especially in today, it's hard to find a partner. I don't want to say soulmate. That's a little too sappy, I guess. But I just want to be that guy, that man that you can trust. You know. I get that. Like I, I really see where you're coming from. Um, I feel a lot of that type of vibe with you. But um, because I've been through what I've been through. Um, I'm looking I'm looking for something deeper I'm looking for someone to be as real as I am I'm looking for the moments like this where we can have those truth moments and it not be something that's turned against you I'm looking for um, honesty loyalty I'm looking for someone to sacrifice just as much as I can sacrifice um, but I need I need that man to be more than what meets the eye. Yeah. Can I be honest for a second? But it would be like if I could see on